Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, before we get into your reading, I want to wish you guys happy holidays to you and yours. I wish you guys the very best for this year to come. Also, for those of you guys that are interested in private consultations or any of my services, you can find that um, on my online store now. Uh, the links are at the end of every video or below the description box. Also, if you guys are um, coming across any accounts on social media that are pretending to be me messaging you, telling you they have a message from your spirits or something like that, please don't fall for it. I do not solicit um, any of my clients. So again, um, be mindful if you do you know, come across that type of uh, message or whatever, just report them. I'm getting sick and tired of them and quite honestly... I've been taking care of it for a while. Um, I didn't see that for a while, so now they're coming back around again. So report them. Um, please subscribe to our channel, like, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified of the most recent videos coming out. We're uh, dropping the tarot series uh, that we've been talking about for quite a while. We are kicking it off on Sunday, and moving forward, it's going to be every Sunday. Um, a lot of tons of videos coming up for you guys. Spell videos as well to prepare you guys for the new year. So you guys definitely stay tuned. All right, let's get into your reading Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages that you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life? Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. Please give us guidance, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Let's get into it. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. We're starting off with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is structure. It is the desire to manifest something long-term. Could potentially represent a union or some type of higher commitment here. <clears throat> the next card here is the Hermit card. So the Hermit card is the energy of the person that's coming towards you. I feel that you may be dealing with the person that has a tendency of being a loner. This is a person that really enjoys their alone time. Um, this can also represent the person that may not be very like outspoken, outgoing. This is a person that, that internalizes everything. The next card is the Ace of Swords. So open communication, being honest and transparent. I feel like this person, um, the person you've been dealing with or will be dealing with is a person that is very straightforward and to the point. I feel that there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and it has more to do with honesty and the reality of where we want this relationship to go. What is it that we're looking for? Are we on the same page? And I feel that that honest conversation is going to come about because they are, in fact, thinking and wanting something that is much more stable. If you've been dealing with a situation where stability or anything that is it's been unofficial will be or has the potential to become something official by the end of this month the beginning of january 2022 now the next card here is the emperor card so it's exactly it's actually a representation of structure so what i'm hearing for you aquarians out there if you've been in a relationship or in a connection where again there hasn't been anything official i feel like you guys are taking it to the next level uh, for others of you, especially those of you guys that have been single, I feel like you're really at this point in your life wanting something that could potentially turn into something long term. And this is you internalizing exactly what it is that you want. I do see that in the next coming week and a half. So it could be from now to a week and a half. Uh, keep in mind, time is fluid with the tarot cards here. Uh, so it could be give or take. Um, but within a week time frame, I do see a new person coming in for you guys that are single. And I feel like you may connect or may be introduced to this person through some type of celebration, some type of party, some type of uh, wedding that you're going to or anything like that. Uh, this person may be a Virgo or they may be um, Aries type of energy here. But I feel like you guys are definitely going to feel the connection on a deeper level. I feel like you guys are wanting or desiring the same things. I see you guys solidifying or taking it to the next level. Um, again, if you have been dealing with a situation where there's been a bit of inconsistency, I feel like that's not going to be the issue anymore. And for those of you guys that are single, I am hearing you will be introduced to this person. So again, this is a new person. This is not anyone you're dealing with 
or that you may be communicating with right now at this very moment. And this is specifically for those of you guys that are single. Um, so I do see a very positive energy here for the month of December. I feel like the month of December is going to be very prosperous uh, for love and romance for you, Aquarians. All right. Let me pull out an oracle card and see the energy that we're getting here. Thank you, Spirit. I don't know how to let go. So I feel like in the past, uh, Aquarius, you could have had um, an issue having to do with letting go of the past or having being able to move on from a specific partner or an ex. Keep in mind, we are going into Venus retrograde. So a lot of what you were going through in... Um, the last time we had a Venus retrograde was in uh, 2013, I believe, 2013. So whatever energy, whatever type of experiences you're going through in regards to love and romance, that may be coming up again, not necessarily with the same person, but it may be the same situation or circumstance. It's about growing and outgrowing that situation. So again, um, if you've been refusing or having trouble letting go of the past, I feel like that's not going to be the issue anymore. For some of you guys, could be why they're saying within a week time frame, uh, there is a connection that is uh, going to come to be for you guys um, that are single. So again, there is an ending cycle here. Uh, letting go of the past or no longer allowing the past to control or to dominate your thoughts, fears, uh, or expectations when we're talking about love and romance. Beautiful energy, Aquarius. I want to wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.